back to another review today, YouTube, and today, as voted by everyone else, oh, you already heard him, we're talking about, this is going to be another one of those videos, isn't it, take and play talking Toby, say that five times, first off, this model, take and play, might I say, was produced in first in 2010, with the box shown on screen now, here is the 2012 box, very little difference in that and the 2015 box quite different now there's quite a quite a few things to talk about about this first so first off between 2010 and 2013 it was produced in China and this is that model I will be showing you around and what it can do later in 2014 it was made in Thailand had a CGI face and a few electronic differences. For example, you had to hold down the button to make it chuff. Whereas this one, you just have to roll it and it chuffs. It's annoying. In 2015, the model had unpainted buffers and one-way magnets. Now, a word that's weird is these older models have unipole magnets. Meaning, they'll connect either which way. It doesn't matter. So really, one-way Magnus was quite a bad move to make. Now, as for this engine, only one of them currently has batteries in. We don't need to listen to both. I doubt both of these are American, because the reason why I say that is because there was an American version that had one extra phrase than the UK, and the UK has an extra phrase than, um, than America, US, did not. So I'm going to go through the UK phrases and then I'll go through the American phrase. It's just one and I won't be able to play for you but I'll have it on screen. Here we go. Hello, I'm Toby. I'm the number 7 round engine. Bust my buffers. After that, it just repeats those same phrases again. As you'll notice though, unlike Golden Bear Thomas and Friends, um, check out my just previous video I posted about Golden Bear James, these phrases are in order, making it very easy for me to go through them. And before I continue, on screen now is the US quote. This is a phrase that Tubby would say if it was in from the US. The one that the UK would not have is the last one as shown on screen now. Quite an interesting thing that. Um, one other thing as well, the last de last little detail is Ben Small is the voice of the UK Toby and William Hope is the voice of the US version. I don't usually do details like that but yep that's the voice differences. Now we're going to talk about the model itself. It takes two coin batteries which are underneath. You just unscrew that screw there and you just slot them in. Now this middle wheel has a little piece of plastic that makes a bit of metal touch each other. Now, it's not going to do it now, is it? Typical. Well basically, when... Watch this. If you can hear it, it's making a chuffing sound. And it's making it, and you can tell, because the light keeps coming on. That's the way to tell when it's making a noise. So, yeah, the middle wheel does that, and it's I can't do it underneath as visible. But now we're going to talk about how this model looks. He's got a nice cheery face, very shiny. He's got very puffed out cheeks there. And you can see the windows there are blacked out. He's going to... You know what? I'm fed up with models just going off on me like that. We're going to do this one. This one does not have a battery in it, as you can see. Sadly, the entire inside is blacked out. The seven's nice, but um, it looks like they've removed some wood panel detail just to fit that in there. The cow catches and side plates are really nicely done. They actually, unlike the cab, the interior here, there is actually a gap there. You can see the wheel moving up and down on it. The back, the, the holes are where the speakers are, and you've got a lamp at the top. Sadly, not painted red, and you've got painted buffers too. Finally, a model that respects that. The other side is exactly the same, nothing different there, and we're back to the front. 
like I said earlier, it has unipole magnets, and if we look at the top as well, so I believe that's the chimney stack. This is the bell. Doesn't look much like a bell. And I don't know what this is. Yeah, I've got a Toby here. Let, let me just. This is an Ertel Toby. It's. I've just realised it's exactly the same. This, the bell is meant to have a string from one side to the other. I'm just trying to think. Oh, yeah, it's the Trackmaster Toby that shows more detail. But yeah, this model. It's quite good for Toby. Like in the song, let's just say he's square. He definitely suits that square look. He's a really nice, good looking toy. He's got six wheels. Middle wheels very wobbly. Let's see where it says underneath. 2009 Galane Thomas Limited. Toby. Mattel 2009. Hmm. Yeah, and all the other stuff's useless. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this review. A lot of people wanted this review. Please do not chuff on me. I'm fed up of engines chuffing on me whilst I'm talking. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this review and I will be uploading some shorts soon. My next video, I'm thinking about doing something a little different. A review on my layout. Because if you follow me on social media, as in Instagram and Twitter, at Conductor165, I've shown him a sneak peek about what we've been working on. We've spent the last three and a half months working on something on the layout. And I thought, next video... I want to show it to you guys, so I'm going to do that. So yeah, thanks for watching, see you in the next video, bye from me and, and Toby, I couldn't get out then, bye.